Hello, my name is Cliff Hastings, and for almost 30 years, I've been teaching people how to use the Wolfram language in Mathematica. Well, today I wanted to show you a new tool called the Wolfram Notebook Assistant and LLM Kit. And with this subscription, I think it is having a little version of me on your shoulder teaching you how to use the Wolfram language and what it is that you're doing. Because it includes the LLM kit uh, with this subscription, you do not need a separate LLM to use it. And there are examples on the page of how you use the notebook assistant. So how do you make a 3D plot of the terrain around a mountain? How do I pick out individual books in the image, et cetera? And you can read this page for yourself. But I wanted to show you real time some examples of how you use the notebook assistant. So within the Wolfram uh, notebook, so this is Mathematica that I am using, and I have the notebook assistant subscription, I have a couple of new buttons in the toolbar, and I can open up the notebook assistant and type whatever it is that I want to get started with. So I'm going to say, make a list of ordered pairs from 1 to 20, and make the second entry the square of the first. And so maybe I don't know how to do that in the Wolfram language. So with the notebook assistant, I'm going to type that in and it's going to process that for me and return for me not only the text explained to me how I do that in the Wolfram language, but it gives me the code where I can insert and evaluate that in my notebook. Now that's not really hard to do. Most people know how to do that in the Wolfram language, but when you want to then use that and move on from there to do something different, with that information or that output, that's where things can get, you know, just more tricky. You just kind of add on more and more in your use of the Wolfram language. So here I just say graph that. And so it knows to refer to the list of ordered pairs that I created above, and it's going to make a uh, function called list plot. It's going to use the list plot of the table and then create that for me. What if I want to do a uh, find a linear fit of that data? So again, it's going to process what it is that I am typing, and it's going to provide me the information. So it says, take that data, find a linear model fit of that data. It's going to do that for me. So it's created that model, and I want to graph the data and uh, linear fit together. <clears throat> and so I've entered that into the notebook assistant. And again, it's going to process, figure that out for me provide me that code where I can insert and evaluate it. And here you see it's created the, the data as well as the linear fit and put them both on the same set of axes. Now, if you've used the uh, Wolfram language and Mathematica before, you know that while you can create data, you can visualize data, you can import data, uh, you can also use built-in data that's already in the Wolfram language. So I'm going to say graph... Uh, the populations of Mexico and Canada, uh, let's say from 1950 to 2000. I want to see how those have changed over time. And again, this is all data that's now built in that I don't have to go somewhere else to find. I can already use that data, but I don't have to figure out how to type it into the Wolfram language in Mathematica. It's going to do that for me and provide me that information. So here I have the interpreted code. I can insert that and evaluate it. And very nicely, I see those population curves for Mexico and Canada over time. We can do some very simple things too. I don't even have to know what I want to type. Let's just do a, how about graph a fancy sine curve. I don't even know what a fancy sine curve would be, but I'm interested to see how it's going to evaluate uh, my reference to a fancy sine curve. And so it has provided me code here. I can insert that and evaluate it, and I see what it has uh, deemed to be a fancy sine curve. How about I graph that um, sine function and its derivative uh, together? And I can do that, again, by very simply typing into the notebook assistant, and it's going to give me that information back. Now, I don't know about you. I'm not a big fan of this background of light yellow. So I'm just going to ask it to, uh, can you improve 
the code and see what it's going to give me back as a different option. Now I know that I can see the options here. I could change light yellow as a background to something different, but I'm just interested to see what it's going to think of as improved code. So it actually made the graphic bigger. Uh, it, it provided me the sine and cosine uh, down below in this now. So that's been its idea of improving the code. How about uh, remove the yellow background? Ugh. That's, I just want to not have to do it myself. I'm going to ask the notebook assistant to do it for me. And I'm sure it's going to say, sure, to remove the yellow background. Here's what you do, Cliff. Here's what you're going to create. Here's the code for it. And it's going to provide that for me. It also taught me that this is the piece to remove that yellow background um, if we want to. And again, provide that um, information for me and the graphic. So pretty simple, pretty easy, uh, nice thing to do. So the Notebook Assistant is a really uh, wonderful tool that it helps us all use the Wolfram language and Mathematica much more simply than just sitting down and typing things on our own. While it's not difficult at all to use the Wolfram language, when you want to make it scalable and go from simple to complex, I use the Notebook Assistant now all the time because it gets me there in a few seconds versus just a few minutes of me processing and thinking through it myself. So I hope you enjoyed it and good luck. Thank you so much for joining. Mm -hmm.